Hello and welcome. I'm Sergey Pismensky. I'm going to tell you about the new electronics for Drust submachine gun. It's the new board installed instead of the original one. The first thing different from the original board is LED based display. Watch the display as I pull the trigger. Also, there are three buttons that control the main features of the board. Each button, pressed once, displays the current setting. They control shooting mode, which is the number of bullets in burst, then rate of fire, and the third button controls solenoid pulse duration. When a button is pressed once, it displays the current setting. Let's take a look at the shooting mode. So it's 10 bullets in a burst. It can be changed between 1 to 10 if the button is pressed twice within 3 seconds. Also the possible setting is full auto mode. It's displayed with these three dashes. The single fire can be set when the display shows 1. You can set any value between 1 and 10. As it was said before, the second button controls the rate of fire. The available values are 300 to 1200. This time it's 1200. Feel the difference. The third button controls the pulse duration. This time it's 7 milliseconds. By the way, when using Drust with 9 volts batteries, the optimum value is 6 or 7 milliseconds. Anyway, when using extremely long barrels, the values up to 15 make sense. When running higher voltages, the pulse should be shortened. The minimum value is 3 milliseconds. Oh, one more important thing. You can choose any combination of settings mentioned above, and they will be automatically stored in the non-volatile memory. This means you won't have to tune your draws again when you turn the power on next time, and even after you replace the batteries. Also, Notice this small printed circuit board installed on the top of the main board. It's the DC to DC converter. With this module, the power supply voltage can be as high as 24 volts.